Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm so back. <laughs> we had a power outage. Um, I guess it lasted about 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, what do you do when you have a power outage? Well, you know what I did? I didn't know to sit still and just be. I had to get some work done. So I cleaned out one of my closets. Yeah, I cleaned out. <laughs> I said one of my closets. Yeah. I uh, need to tackle my bathroom closet, but for now, the one I cleaned out, I'm happy about it. I found some old stuff, some old training materials of from corporate America. So that was interesting. <laughs> that was very, very interesting. So um, when you have some downtime, you can always choose to, hey, Shanta, thank you for coming back. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. It makes me so happy. Um, so while I had some downtime, I cleaned out, hey, Amelia Cole, Mary's Talks in the house. No music today. Not yet. You know me. Who knows what I'm going to do. And so I wanted to um, give everybody a chance. Hey, M. Go Kirby. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. Three more days in 2015. Let's finish strong, everybody. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't get tired. We're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you're going to love them more now that I'm going to be um, more Loretta isms are going to be happening here. I'm going to be my own self. I'm not going to let somebody decide what I should do on my own periscope, right? You shouldn't have given me my own if you're going to tell me how to do it. So I, I went through that thing, but let me tell you the other rule that I broke, <laughs> my own rule that I broke. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> All I can do is Loretta. You know what? Everybody else is taken. So why not, you know, be who you are. Okay. I'm trying to get my light right. I got the window open. And anyway, um, again, you never know who's watching. So I always want to uh, be my best self. And I have to do Loretta. And Loretta likes excellence. So let's see if we can get this light right. Okay. Anyway, so let me tell you how I broke my own rule, which is so crazy. You make a rule, then you break it really seriously. Yeah, it happens. And, and more than you, more than you know. <laughs> okay, we're going to work with that. Okay, so... Uh, and Amelia knows this. She knows this about me. I'm very, 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 very hard on people who speak things out of their mouth. You know, you say, well, how else can you speak? Well, you can speak body language. You can speak uh, with your eyes. Hi there. Hi, hi. Uh, you can speak <laughs> with your Oh, you can do that. Mm, really? There's so many ways that you can speak. So yes, I'm talking about speaking with the words of your mouth. And also we'll talk about body language too. But right now I want to talk about um, speaking with your words. Hey, Shanta. Hey, little old country boy. I love that. I love, 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 love that. Little old country boy. So, okay. So you, let me tell you what I did first and then we can talk. And then you can tell me if you've ever did that. So I have this thing where... I always say be impeccable with your words. Of course, you know, I didn't write that slogan. I didn't come up with that, but I have really embraced it. So um, some of you don't know, but I injured my knee really, really bad. Like the beginning of November. So, and then I, and people started saying, well, how are you? And how are you? And normally I say I'm awesome and improving or I'm sitting on top of the world, kicking my feet, dangling my feet, yada, 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 just positive things. Whether I felt it or not, I would always speak that kind of thing. But recently with this knee thing, I've been saying, oh, my knee hurts so bad. Oh, I can barely walk. I can't wear my, my heels. I can't wear my stilettos. Oh, it's me. Woo, woo, woo. And what I'm finding is, <laughs> because I don't normally do that, I always say, well, yeah, I did injured it. I'm not in denial I did injure my knee it was such a freak thing too I'm getting I'm going down my driveway which has a little hill I'm getting in my truck I'm getting ready to turn the corner because I got my little granddaughter and as I was turning one way my knee went the other way and so I've been <laughs> yeah, shame on me for injuring my knee Amelia or shame on me for you know just owning that injury I'm not I, I don't own stuff if I don't want to own stuff, okay? So I started owning this injury, and I'm still six, seven weeks into the injury and very little relief. I've gone to the ER twice. I've gone to my doctor. No, I've gone to the ER once, my doctor twice. They can't do anything but tell me to go to the ortho. So the ortho says surgery. <sighs> so, you know, I, I'm believing that God's going to heal it. I was saying, my the more I said my knee was injured, my knee hurts. Oh, it is the worst thing ever. My sons would ask, how are you? And I'm like, my knee hurts. You know, just a whiny butt. I've really been a whiny butt. And 
But it was true. I was really in pain. So it wasn't like it was making it up. I was really in pain. So I figured the more you say something, the more of it you have. And that's so true. I've always told my sons, I said, if you don't believe that your words speak Shame on you for speaking the problem. I know, and I know better, but I did. I had a moment of weakness. <laughs> it hurt so bad, Amelia. Oh my goodness, it hurt so bad. It just, it took over my life. And so I would always tell my, they said, well, Mom, that's not true. I said, be careful what you speak. And they always say, that's, I said, well, humor me. What if everything you said came true? Would you want to keep saying stuff that you didn't want to come true? Just in case I'm, I'm telling the truth and I know I am. So the uh, last four days I've been saying my knee is fine I feel good and guess what my knee is better so I may not have to have surgery well if I do have to I have to but I'm not gonna do that that you know you know it's not mm, it's some people don't understand it but I understand it and Amelia understands it if if you want something you just got to keep talking about it. if you concentrate on so whatever controls your thoughts controls your life I'll say it like that does that make sense to you? Can you all get that? Whatever controls your life controls your thoughts. Whatever controls your thoughts controls your life. Okay, so that knee thing was doing it for me. That knee thing was doing it. So whatever you think about the most, the more of it you get and the more you become it. So if you say, well, I'm, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm too dark, too light, my hair is not right, then that's the more you get. So whatever you concentrate on, you become yeah, whatever you concentrate the most on, you become. Focus and speak the word only. Yeah, so you got to know the word to speak the word. <laughs> you got to know the word. So that means you have to spend some time studying the word. And the word is God's word. That's what we're talking about, the Bible. That's what we're talking about, God's word, Jesus' word. So you got to know those words so you can speak those words of your life. And let me tell you, they work. Uh, a lot of you in the business professional world, you call them business principles or culture, but those principles are based on spiritual principles. Trust me. I know that to be sure. <laughs> so anyway, so I broke my rule. I'm paying the consequences. I paid the consequences and now I'm better. I'm so much better. I am, my knee is feeling better. So I was on earlier telling everybody, you have to be true to who you are. Now, there will be people on their scope saying, cry when you have to, but don't stop speaking the word. Amen, Amelia. Amen. And I did cry a, a lot of nights. <laughs> a lot of nights I cried. And so I still have to believe what God says. I'm healed. Jesus paid this price for my healing on Calvary, on the Christ. So that baby we just celebrated, the baby in the manger, becomes our Lord and Savior on the cross. So he is like 360. He covers everything. So on Periscope, this is the other thing I wanted to say. I almost broke my own rule too, uh, allowing people to tell me how I should be on something. People can tell you the analytics of what they think people are on this time, people like this, people like that. But I can only be Loretta. Whether you like it or not, you can tune out, you can tune in. I'm happy when you tune in, but I'm very grateful when you tune out if I'm not your cup of tea, if I'm not your flavor of what I'm saying and how I say it. So that's the beauty of it. You can just go somewhere else. <laughs> so, but don't let somebody else tell you how you can be. You have to be true to yourself. Be authentic every time, 365 days a year. Be authentic. Be who you are. So people can count on that. They can count on my, me smiling. They can count on me speaking something positive into their life. And they can count on me being my best self every time I go out that door. And even inside the door. I, I just love hair. I love makeup. I love dressing up. I've always been that girl who played dress up. So this is me. Whether I'm going to a Grizzly game or... Um, a Steelers game, yeah, Steeler fan, Steeler nation, Steeler nation, woohoo, yeah. So I have to be me, and I'll go like this because this is my most comfortable. I'm not comfortable in t-shirts and tennis shoes and jeans. I'm just not comfortable that way. But I admire women who are. You do whatever you're comfortable in, and sometimes I will throw on tennis shoes because I have to work out, right? But anyway, I just wanted to come on there and say, always be true to yourself. To thy own self, be true be true because at the end of the day you are the person you live with the most you don't spend as much time with anybody else in your life in this world than with the person in the mirror so be true to you 
honor who you are. So that's all I had. I just wanted to tell you I broke a rule. Now I repented and I'm back on track and I won't do that thing anymore. And yes, I will acknowledge that it, it did hurt because you do have to acknowledge if you're fearful, if you're scared, if you are not feeling well, you acknowledge, but you don't dwell there. You don't dwell there. You dwell in the secret place of the most high. Yeah. And then you rest in the shadow of the almighty God. Psalms 91 and one, just in case. <laughs> anyway, everybody. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Cause I got more to share. I want to talk about a positioning statement and how you can write your positioning statement for 2016 in your 2015 strong. Don't give up. Finish some things that you had on that to-do list. Don't give up. Never, ever quit. Never, ever, ever quit. Regardless of how it looks, never be a quitter. You can whine sometimes because it goes good with cheese, but never quit. How about that? All right, everybody. Until next time on The Scope, I'm Loretta McNary. Amelia, you're funny. Bye, darling. Love you. <laughs>